Good morning, Basil. Good morning. Well, Dan Hazel, Democrats and Republicans say that even though the result took months to get to, it'll be worth it for millions of Americans. Despite the cynics, Democrats and Republicans can come together and deliver results. Monday, President Joe Biden, surrounded by both Democrats and Republicans, signed the bipartisan infrastructure deal into law. Bravo. The world has changed. And we have to be ready. The more than $1 trillion bill will put $550 billion in new funds for transportation, broadband, and clean water. Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer says this will make the U.S. more competitive. This infrastructure bill will help us meet the challenges of our time, strengthen our crucial supply chains, and lay the foundation for another generation of economic prosperity. Some Republicans were in attendance for the signing, such as Ohio Senator Rob Portman, who emphasized that the infrastructure deal will benefit every American. There were plenty of bumps along the way, but we got there because we were all committed to ultimately delivering a result to the constituents we represent. Portman says the improvement to infrastructure will lead to an economic advantage for the country and, more importantly, counters inflation. Which is so important right now, as American families are facing higher prices on everything from gas to groceries. With the infrastructure deal done, the president and Democrats shift their focus entirely to the larger social spending bill. Now, Americans will also see more than $100 billion go into roads and bridges, more than $60 billion into freight and passenger trains, and nearly $40 billion into public transit. Reporting live in Washington, I'm Basil John.